Hey, g'day everyone, Skarvig here with another Atlas update. Redbeard's journal number four has dropped and in it they are looking to introduce the new wonders. And this is something they talked about in the past where it's a giant structure that is meant to take you a long time to build with huge amount of resources and will give you a massive company-wide buff. Uh, something significant that people want to actually try and attain it. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that actually comes about, but as a result, they are actually going to be doing a wipe in two weeks as, as of this video's recording. Um, so a few people are a little bit upset about that. I'm not particularly happy about it. I would have liked to have seen some more stability fixes and some fixes to the ships prior to announcing a wipe, just so that people could have a little bit of um, comfort in knowing that some of the bugs were being fixed before we actually lost our current progress on the servers. But they do mention um, with every single one of these that it is an early access game. Uh, they did say before in the past in their Q&As that they don't do seasons anymore. Uh, and yeah, uh, looking through a lot of Redbeard's uh, comments on the uh, public Discord, uh, there are a number of things that he's actually mentioned in there uh, which allude to what's going on. And he has also said that they will drop more information on Monday as to the technical reasons why they require a patch. Other things that are in Redbeard's journal that might actually give us a little bit of information towards the wipe. Uh, there's a couple of screenshots in there showing terrain that I haven't actually seen in the desert biome before. Um, some rather significant waterfalls on some of the desert islands, uh, big sweeping desert dunes, a large square monument uh, that I haven't actually seen before, and a nice lovely open screenshot of those dunes with the same monument. And I haven't ever seen that before, which kind of alludes to I guess some terrain that we haven't actually seen in the game before so if they're putting in some new terrain there's potential there why they would actually require a wipe uh, and other things in there is the fact that um, not so much why there would be a wipe but they're going to open up the test server to the public and so you're going to be able to jump on and you're going to be able to have a look at any of the new features that they're actually chucking in there. I suspect that we'll actually see that on Monday because when they give everything over to the people so that you can jump on there and have a look, you're going to need to know what the patch notes are that they're planning. Otherwise, you won't be able to test anything. So it's going to be worthwhile seeing what's going on on Monday. Maybe we'll actually see the full public test realm uh, t patch notes so that people can understand what it is that's coming into the game and potentially what our fixes are what they've um, still got to go any known issues so on and so forth so Monday is going to be a pretty significant day uh, other than that let's just have a look through some of Redbeard's comments on the public discord and or the official discord and we'll leave it after that firstly uh, I guess a small one at least for the Xbox players that you actually have an acknowledgement that the Xbox issues are under investigation. Uh, for now that they're talking about it being mostly a memory leak as playing part of the issue and that they ask you to be patient because it is breaking each version of the Xbox. And my own conversations uh, that I've had with the various people is that the Xbox series require different coding for series. So if you've got an, an OG, if you've got a series X, you've got a series S, each of those different series require a different level of programming to actually make it work with the architecture that's going on in the background. So it ends up being a quite a technical challenge uh, and there are apparently a lot of inconsistencies which are a real pain for them to fix. But it's nice to see them publicly acknowledge that the Xbox issues are there and under, in under investigation while giving at least a little bit of uh, feedback in that it is actually causing them a lot of pain. So also subsequently after the wipe, it looks like they're going to keep the gather rates and drop rates high. Uh, and the wipe is needed for technical reasons and is happening regardless. Uh, as far as the next wipe, they're not looking to wipe for several months, uh, four to six-ish months. Obviously that uh, means to be taken with a grain of salt given that this one was such a quick short wipe for technical reasons. Uh, and then, you know, if technical reasons happen again, obviously they will wipe, but we can now hope that it will be four to six months before the next one. And lastly, uh, one of the guys from my own Discord actually asked, uh, this is QED Pro Quo, 
I was asking when if they would get a breakdown of what's going to happen with the wipe and Redbeard basically said on Monday. So hopefully in the next couple of days we will see more details of what it is that is actually coming but at least for now we know that a wipe is happening in two weeks and it involves the introduction of the wonders and hopefully a hell of a lot of fixes but that information will be coming later. All right, let me know down in the comments, good or bad. I don't really care what you have to say. I'm just reporting the news in this particular sense. Uh, I feel a little bit hard done by by the wipe, seeing as I would have liked to have seen uh, some stability and ship fixes go in first, just to uh, prove those uh, fixes in there, give people a little bit of, uh, I guess, a better feeling about the game going into another wipe. As you could imagine that those people who've had a poor experience this wipe to have it in so early and all their progress lost, they probably won't be coming back. But uh, I will be back in some capacity or another. I will continue to follow the game from the patch point of view. Uh, I will continue to help test the game. And whether I'm actually on PvE or otherwise is yet to be known. I do actually want to go and check out some of the modded servers amongst other things. And yeah, we've got a hell of a lot of other content to make across Atlas, Ark, and yes, Icarus has just gone live, a few other bits and pieces. Um, there's a new medieval game out there, so there's lots of stuff to actually cover, uh, which I hopefully will get time to do. And lastly, Redbeard's journals themselves. I only ever did the first one, and I still need to do the other three journals as a narrative story, although the stories look like they're going to be a bit rough to actually try and narrate, given that I've got to try and find in-game things to match up with the story. But that's a uh, problem of my own to deal with. All right, thanks for listening in. Let me know what you think and catch you in the next one. See you later.